everyone this is sherry welcome back to my channel today i am ecstatic to do this unboxing video for you guys i have been saving i think a year to buy this camera and this is a long time coming so let's go ahead and start I have other Sony camera that I still can use but due to overheating issues I decided that it is really time for me to invest in a good camera that doesn't overheat and that has a long battery life. My needs led me to choose the Sony a7 III. I wish you understand how excited I am to be able to own this camera. I've heard so many great things about this camera and by the way if you are wondering where I got mine, I got mine at Best Buy for $2,000. Let's go ahead and open it up. Inside, as you can see, I have the manual, the camera strap, Next, we have the body of the camera, and yes, it doesn't have the lens, you have to purchase it separately. I'll show you the body of the camera later. I think um, I still have a few more on this box. We have the battery, and of course, your charger and its USB cable. Let's go to the features of this camera. If you're wondering, this has 24.2 MP resolutions. It delivers gorgeous shots with lifelike details. The ISO goes from 100 to 51,200 and it's also expandable. It has high speed continuous shooting. It has fast hybrid AF with 693 face detection and 425 contrast detection focus points. I am also excited that this camera can shoot high resolution 4K HDR videos. Um, it can also wirelessly stream still images and movies to your smartphone or computer or even TV. It has touchscreen mirror but I've heard it has limited functions. It has cool feature um, of that new front end LSI and BIONZX image processor which I know nothing about, I'm sorry. It also has an electronic viewfinder, TTL or also known as the through the lens pre-flash control. It has face detection in IAF, HDMI output allows easy connection to HDTV and also it has two media card slots for storing and transferring image. As for now, I am using the, um, the first slot only for taking videos and, you know, taking photos. In other words, it has a lot of features and if you are a pro when it comes to handling a camera, you can play around with this, you can set it up the way you want it to. Sony lets the user have a good amount of control when it comes to this camera however if you are like me i have limited understanding to um, camera it can be super complicated i'll stick to just changing the video and the photo aspects of this one other than that i'm not doing anything crazy now what i'm doing here is just putting the battery on this camera and trying to um set it all up I also got an SD card for my camera and my choice of lens is this one. It is the 24 to 240 mm. It is super heavy, but I really like the quality. I am thinking of buying another lens again, a more, you know, smaller lens for my camera. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and comment down below. I will consider all of your suggestions because this one is just right off the bat too heavy for me. However, I still got this lens because I know it is perfect for landscape shots. So yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing all of your suggestions in a small lens that I can use for my Sony a7 III so that I can comfortably bring it with me anywhere for I forget. This lens cost me I think $800 if I'm not mistaken. And I also got besides the lens and the SD cards, I also got a microphone for this camera.
now all this camera needs is the um, SD card as you can see there's a button right there that you can tug to place the SD card this is what my camera looks like with everything with the lens um, with the strap so the weight of this one is heavy for me if you are wondering how did I put on and how can you take off the lens it's super easy there's a button down here I don't know if you can see let me just zoom in there's the button that you can press and then let's zoom out press that one and then it will release the lens to put it back in you just have to align the white dot and then twist it like so you will feel that the lens is already locked and can be safely used so here let's see if i can identify everything in here let's start off with the on and off button switch it can be found here you just do this to turn on the camera and then this one to turn it off on the same area you can find your shutter button the c2 and c1 button can be customized uh, by the user i haven't done it yet is the exposure dial this one is the mode dial you have the manual um the shutter priority and then the a is for aperture priority next p is program you have auto the s c n is i think the scene mode and then next to it is the s and q the slow and quick mode under it is the video mode next is this numbers one and two as you can see this one and two right here are the user defined settings um what else okay before we got the back you have here i think this is the aperture and then at the back of the camera here you have the shutter speed i think you can both replace the two just go to the menu setting and um you can set it any way you want it to be you can put i think the aperture here and then this one as your shutter speed or you can just keep it this way here you can attach your microphone or your flash electronic viewfinder this is your tiltable screen it doesn't tilt all the way so it just goes like that this red button right here you will use when you um try to record something you use it for a video of course um you have the af on you can zoom in an image you can also zoom it out here you can attach your tripod and press this one if you want to go um use the timer here you can press this one if you want to set the iso and then what else here's the menu let's turn it on and there you go you can go to menu and then set your camera the way you want it to this can be very tricky there's a lot of videos here on youtube that will tell you or that will guide you on the settings that you want for your camera and that's it for my unboxing video of my sony a7 III. thank you so much for watching i'm gonna take this baby right now and shot random things i know for my skills it's gonna take more practice and more time for me to be able to maximize the capacity of this camera but if you're interested here is a snippet of the footage that i took If you want to see more, kindly check the description of this video or you can also click the link that I will provide on your screen. And again, thank you so much for watching. This is Sherry. I'll see you on my next one.